in my heart. I must admit, the crown of Carsus has occupied my every thought since we learned of it. If we can seize it and use it, the possibilities are endless. Yet you haven't uttered a peep one way or the other about it. The power to change the world, it may be within our reach. You must have an opinion, surely. Then the fault lies with me and my inadequate words, please. Allow me to show you instead. Just close your eyes a moment. Astra Navigamos. Few mortals ever glimpse what you're about to see. But don't be alarmed. I'm here with you. Now. Open your eyes. The Outer Plains. This is where gods dwell. They observe us from afar. Where they make playthings of us. They will keep all of this from us. The power. The possibilities. They only want us to serve them. To pray to them. And ultimately to die for them. But what if we didn't need them? What if we wielded their power instead and helped ourselves in all the ways they refused to? I could make that happen. I could make this illusion a reality with you by my side. Then have me, but have the best possible version of me. The tadpoles, the orb, these threats to our existence, the gods could aid us if they wished, but instead they cower behind Io. So let us act ourselves. With the power of the crown, any foe would be rendered impotent. Any obstacle would be dwarfed by our might. I used to believe Mistress Forgiveness was worth dying for. But I was wrong. You showed me just how much I have to live for. With you, I forget, my goddess. I love you. Tell me you feel the same way. Tell me you want what I want. Please. But think what I offer. The vastness of eternity to explore the weave at our fingertips. You would really prefer me as I am? I hope you're right. I truly do. Godly power, perhaps I can live without, but you? You're everything. You put the stars to shame. Let's sit here another while. I want to drink you in. My love, I hope you enjoyed our voyage through the cosmos. I was hoping you might have a moment to talk about it. Neither have I. 
closest thing to a deserving canvas on which to place your beauty. But I've also not forgotten why I took you there. I hope you don't think less of me. Great ambition should not come at the expense of what you already hold dear. I see that now. What the vine calculus plucked each of us from the ether and thrust us together. I don't deserve you, truly. But I will do my utmost to earn the right. Was there anything else you wish to discuss?